In this problem we have an infinite geometric series and the question wants us to determine if it converges or diverges and if it converges we're being asked to find the sum of the series. So this appears to be uh, geometric. So geometric series generally look like this, something like a uh, r to the n or something like this a r to the uh, n minus 1. So any of these forms is typically considered uh, geometric. Here we have two numbers though, and they're to different powers, so we need to do some manipulation. So I'm thinking we can start by doing the following. So this is the sum from one to infinity of e to the n over, and then check this out, on the bottom we can do this, three to the n times three to the negative one. And you can do that because you know these bases are the same, so when you multiply these numbers, you're actually adding the exponents. This is totally okay. And now in the next step, we can take these and we can combine them like this. Infinite sum as n runs from one to infinity. We can write this as e over three to the n like this. This is pretty cool. Look at that, beautiful. And then we have this three to the negative one here. Let's bring it upstairs, it'll become a three. And now it's totally geometric, right? You see a is three and you can easily identify r. r is uh, e over three, it's the number that's being raised to a power. So we can use now something called the geometric series test. I'll abbreviate it with three super cool capital letters, GST. If the absolute value of r is less than one, then the geometric series test says that our infinite series converges. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then our test tells us that it diverges. So here r is equal to e over 3. So if we take the absolute value of r, we're basically taking the absolute value of e over 3. Well, that's just e over 3. And so e is like 2.7, etc. So it's smaller than 3. So this fraction is smaller than 1. So our series converges. by the geometric series test. So that would be a complete solution as to why it converges right here, boom, this and this. And you know, it, it helps to show this work, you know, I mean, if you just skipped all this, I mean, would you get it, if this was like a homework problem, would you get it right? I don't know, right? So, or, you know, if you're doing this for a test, would you get it right if you just did this? I don't, I don't know. I think it's better to do this. It really shows that you know what's going on because you wrote it in one of these forms and you can clearly identify R. And then this is a solid explanation as well. So now uh, we have to find um, the sum because it converges. So to find the sum, it's actually pretty easy. Let me show you how to do it. So all you do is you take whatever number is here and you plug it in here and that goes up top. So we have three times e over three to the one. And then you divide. So again, step one, take whatever number is here and plug it into your n. Always, so if it's a five, it probably won't be, but you plug it in. If it's a zero, very likely to be a zero, you plug it in. If it's a two, it could happen, plug it in. On the bottom, it's always one minus r. So we said our r was e over three, so it's one minus e over three. And let's simplify this. Um, hmm. Oh, look, these cancel. <laughs> That's nice. So this is uh, e over one minus e over three. Well, uh, let's write that as three over three minus e over three. So we can perform the subtraction. So this is e over, now we can subtract, three minus e over three. And then now we're actually dividing, right? It's e divided by this, so it's really e times the reciprocal. So three over three minus e. So this is just going to be three e over three minus e. And that should be the sum of the infinite series. Good times. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck.